First of all, congratulations on Mount West Player of the Week honors. Thank you. How does it feel? What does it mean to you? You know, it means a lot. Um, you know, obviously I was voted the preseason defensive player of the, of the year in the conference, and to be able to go out and get two Mountain West uh, Players of the Week, it just shows that I'm, you know, I'm going out and I'm proving um, you know, that I can really be a, you know, a good player in this league. And it just feels good, and you know, I can attribute my success to my teammates and my coaches, so uh, it's just a good feeling. Take me through the two picks last Saturday night against New Mexico. What did you see on both plays? Yeah, you know, both plays they had run were uh, plays we had repped in practice. So uh, I knew that on the first one, the tip, I was just going to hinge out and help the help the free safety on the you know the live vertical, and he ended up tipping it right to me. You know, that was the first one where I can just get a nice little tip right into my hands. Didn't have to really do any work, and then. Uh, uh, the second one, just you know, reading the quarterback's eyes and going and make a play on the ball. So it was fun to get two picks in the game, especially at home. So and then about had your head ripped off by the receiver going by. <laughs> yes, I did. Uh, you know, he got a piece of the face mask and the hair, so I was a little hot, but I was just glad I caught the ball. So. Oh, we talked about the hair before too. Did he? Do you think he purposely grabbed the hair? <sighs> Can't speculate, but uh, <laughs> there might have been some some incentive there. <laughs> All right, let's talk. It's Border War Week. Mm -hmm. What does that mean to you guys? It means a lot. Uh, I know it means a lot for the fans, but for us, it's going out and playing a rivalry game that has big stakes in the in terms of the Mountain West Conference standings, playing in the playing in the Mountain West Championship. So getting this game is a huge game towards that step, and then just winning it is also big for uh, you know the state of Wyoming and that bronze boot. So uh, it's just a huge game for us. Do you like playing in rivalry games? I love it. You know, it's fun. Um, that's where the crowd goes crazy, especially at home. Um, I remember my first year playing CSU. We weren't even had the had a terrible record, and there was still a bunch of people there screaming. So uh, it's going to be fun this year, you know, knowing you know where we're at and how big of a game it is. So uh, and the fact that it is a rivalry game, so it's just you know fun on, in general. So how big was it to win there last year and get the boot back? But just the way you guys won, huge. You know, uh, it was our first road game. Uh, it was a Mountain West Conference game, and you know, beating them at their home place. You know, the last time. Uh, at that stadium and you know we ran across the field to get the boot so I, I'm sure they have some bad blood towards us and they're gonna be you know ready for this game but so are we and uh, um, it's a home game now so we don't have to go to their place to do it so it's gonna be exciting. What's the talk amongst the team on a on a week like this with the board of war? Yeah you know um, just a huge game and everyone's just really excited uh, rivalry game at home you know with big implications so uh, that's pretty much it and, you know it's uh, we're not going to have to have the coaches fire us up this week you know we're going to be fired up anyway so it's, it's going to be a fun week of practice and obviously a fun game. You're a Colorado guy is there something behind this for you guys from that state yeah. and, and maybe not being recruited as much or not going there? You know you can pick any Colorado guy on this team and he'd say you know those Colorado schools, you know, we kind of have a little bit of bad blood towards them because none of them wanted us, and now we're here having success. So uh, we just want to go out and, you know, prove that, um, you know, we're valuable players. And, you know, getting a win against a Colorado school that didn't recruit you is always uh, always feels pretty good. So. Lastly, what about this Colorado State offense? What do you kind of anticipate, especially going up against a, a quarterback like Stevens, a wideout like Gallup? Yep. I know they've got two good running backs. What are your thoughts on this CSU offense? Yeah, they're a big play offense, you know. Gallup is a you know one of the best receivers in the nation, and uh, you know when when that guy gets your attention, they can run the ball with two really good running backs. So uh, you know Coach Bobo is a you know a, you know he was at Georgia, and he knows how to knows how to run an offense. So it's the strength of their team, and uh, you know us being able to stop them is going to be the biggest key. And I think uh, pressuring Stevens is going to be a really uh, critical key. So that's where you know Carl Big Carl comes in. So it's going to be a fun game. So. You had two picks. He's had two picks. Mm -hmm. What have you thought of Carl's interception so far this year? Yeah, you know, he got that pick and I knew he had tied me, so I had to go out and get two to separate a little bit. But, uh, you know, he's he's an amazing player and he, him uh, pressuring quarterbacks makes life a lot easier on us. So uh, we're just really happy to have him. So. Lastly, what would be your message to Wyoming fans gearing up for the Board of War this week? Everyone, come on, you know, uh, sell the place out uh, and be loud. So uh, that's what we need. When you do that, we'll do the rest. So.